on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial on Maya. Um, as always, I suppose this is the fifth time that I'm trying to make this tutorial. Uh, every time I uh, get confused uh, with the language and with every everything else, so um, I will have to excuse myself about it, but um, let's see what, what what can we learn this time. So um, in this tutorial I thought to speak about something that I made at the last week. Um, I created this uh, beautiful uh, workstation Z1 uh, and, and I, I decided that I only need uh, to render out the, the screen itself okay and I want to get uh, uh, my old light setup applied to this uh, screen and the main thing the main goal was um, to remove uh, the walls and the floor and actually get a transparent background around this screen okay so it's quite easy to do but um, I thought it, it's better to talk about it uh, instead of just showing you uh, how to do so so what I'm actually trying to say is that I will teach you how to preserve your light setup in a scene uh, that applied to an object because um, in most cases when you render something you are trying to uh, create light setup so the object and the shaders that uh, that are, are applied to the, those objects will uh, get a unique uh, kind of look uh, using the light setup you added so um, let's let's begin um, first of all uh, I will take a fresh render for this scene okay right now um, I will try not to move the camera much and we will deal with what we see right now and as you can see we have a we are almost done to render this picture so okay All right, so um, from here uh, we can see that we have uh, uh, this all light background uh, surrounding our screen and we can see the walls and we can see the floor that this uh, computer is standing on and we also see a black areas okay so let's talk first about the black areas um, Usually when Maya render out uh, something that uh, contains in the frame of our camera background of our work area, like this one here, okay, where is the window here, is, uh, so it's translated to a uh, transparent background, okay, so in the picture you can see it as black, okay, but if we will uh, open this picture using a uh, Photoshop and first we will need to save this image as PSD uh, extension type okay so let's say I will call it screen number three because I already uh, made screen number two so um, let's save it on my desktop okay and let's move on let's first save this Okay, and let's move on to Photoshop, um, to my desktop. So this is screen number three, and we will open it using Photoshop. As you can see, and I told you, um, you see the back, uh, the work area background, which is the window, as a transparent. Therefore, you see those squares, uh, white and gray squares. Uh, that means that you can add uh, your own background over here and uh, manipulate this picture to look like something uh, else okay you can uh, bring in a new layer to this okay like 
uh, let's create a new layer. Okay, and we can give it some other color. Um, let's try green, okay, or bluish, bluish kind of thing. So, okay, and we will move it under the picture. So now only the things that are transparent in this picture will uh, get this background color okay so this is one way um, on uh, how to see it or how to use it um, now let's go back to Maya and this time um, when when I was rendering when I uh, wanted to render my screen I chose to um, preserve the light setup and everything that uh, were on the screen okay uh, but I didn't want the floor and the walls to appear on my uh, picture so in order to do this it's very simple what you need to do is pick your uh, the object that you don't want to be appear in the picture but you still want the lights and everything that um, Atta uh, attract with it to be applied as they were in the scene so select the the wall and go over the attribute editor okay which is here open it and at the second tab where it says polysurface shape uh, you will see this list so um, look for render state tab expand it and uncheck the primary visibility from there okay so now if we will take a render for this uh, picture let's wait a moment all right so as you can already see the the walls are not appearing as the first render uh, result we had okay and actually what we did we replaced we were um, not re not replaced we we did re okay we removed the primary visibility from uh, the walls so therefore we can't see it when we render it but we also uh, at the same time chose to replace our background with something that could be behind those walls okay and for that manners we we uh, actually preferred our work area to be uh, the thing that is behind those walls okay so now if I will uh, save this picture as um, if we will save it as uh, screen number four All right and we will move on to uh, let me first save it and we will move on to my desktop and this is it let's open it with Photoshop as you can see we get same transparency that we get like here for the window and that way we don't need to see the wall now we have another step to do um, um, we can create another layer for this just to uh, just to show you how it's done so I'm creating another background layer and I'm replacing it in the hierarchy, hierarchy order okay so now it's uh, this background all right so what what actually does it give us it gives us a nice clean um, clean uh, background and which is transparent uh, to our objects and that's actually without trying to use any other Photoshop tool that could give us the same result let's say um, we are using the magic eraser tool okay magic eraser tool in Photoshop and we want to remove this area here 
so we will first choose the background and we will remove it by deleting it so uh, by automatic uh, it will replace um, th these areas these yellow areas with our bluish uh, background okay so I will click over here and here and I can tell you something not it, it it's doing quite a good very good job but not always it's the same uh, the same in the same resolution that you would like would like it and uh, would you like to see it okay so let's let's look at here okay as you can see it's a little bit broke some of the areas here so that's why I uh, decided not to use this tool okay here you can see this is the transparent background we used uh, when we first edit this picture in Maya when we save it when we render it so in those area you can see it's quite clean and if you will get close over the base where we apply the magic eraser tool you can see it's quite broken it's not it's not very sm that smooth well you can smooth it with other tools and make it looks nicer but it's I prefer to go over back to Maya and do the same thing I made with the walls to the floor and remove the primary visibility and now let's take a render okay so now we are taking a render only for the screen but still we are preserving the light support you can see how the lights affected on our screen okay so that way we get uh, a fresh and clean background which is transparent for the screen let's save this picture right now and we shall call it screen number five uh, five, five, maybe six. It's better. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's save it on my desktop and let's open it using Photoshop. So here is screen number six. Uh, we can save this. Okay, so let's open it with Photoshop and let's see what we get. All right. So this is our screen right now, and. <clears throat> I don't know if it's that much appears, but you can see the differences, okay, between those. It's not that smooth, but I think it, it looks better than uh, using the magic eraser tool. Well, I probably um, getting this all wrong, but um, you will see the you will see the <clears throat> the how it works when you will do it um, and you will get the main idea on um, better on the better uh, situation where you should use the transparent background um, first ahead when you render the um, these pictures from, from Maya okay so this is actually the tutorial and this is how to uh, make things done like this so that way if you choose to render something like uh, animated camera around the screen and you still want to preserve the light setup as you can see here the light setup on the screen are still the same okay as the original one okay it still have the shadows on the base as it was okay and everything so this is how to preserve and still creating a transparent background tutorial and uh, one more thing be before we close this tutorial is always make sure about two things when you want to uh, render out your pictures first of all of course you must uh, okay so you must go to the common tab first of all and you must choose the image format uh, to something that supports uh, Photoshop okay Photoshop supports a um, few few extensions like Targa and HDR I think uh, PNG PSD layer PSD and all sort of uh, extension uh, I'm usually using Targa or PSD 
but don't try to use JPEG because JPEG it's not uh, a unique as PSD okay uh, PSD can contain layers in it as I told you earlier it can contain layers and uh, other sort of uh, data like channels and other things so JPEG uh, not supposed to do this so don't try JPEG when you would like to get transparent background another thing is when you choose your camera okay uh, if it's the perspective camera which become uh, come by default or any other camera you added to the scene and you want to get the shots from from it uh, make sure that the alpha channel mask is ticked okay because by default it's supposed to be ticked but I don't know maybe uh, you tried something earlier so um, just make sure it's there and also you can choose the resolution for your pictures and one more thing I probably will talk about this uh, later on okay so this is um, this is it for this uh, tutorial um, also maybe no maybe one more one more little thing that I should show you okay I'm going to bring to my uh, I'm going to uh, bring those three photos over my desktop just to, to show you something um, I made the same uh, the same uh, the same render for this screen using uh, using uh, something like uh, uh, wait okay I was using the physical sun and sky um, light setup and what I actually get when I render it out <coughs> is the same background uh, as for uh, physical sun and sky, sky. Okay, so as you can see at the background right now, you can see the this background. Okay, and this one uh, one very strong tip: if you are using any other photo viewer to see your pictures, uh, and you get this. Uh, background um, don't delete it because you think that you don't uh, it's, it's it didn't succeed okay you must keep those picture because if you will throw the, them to your uh, recycle bin or whatever and then you will remove them uh, even from there um, you're wrong because this because this uh, background is actually a transparent background and I will show you this okay so let's try open one of those pictures using Photoshop and as you can see it's transparent okay so uh, make sure you remember this rule okay it's also uh, applying to HDRI uh, light setup when you use the image based lightning okay so make sure just to remember this and not throwing uh, anything uh, to the recycle bin before you check this out uh, while you're using the Photoshop okay uh, photo viewer can deceive you and make you um, make you made mistakes so that's that's it for now uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you have a question leave a comment and we'll see you soon at the next tutorial see you Bye.